Manchester United 2, Wolverhampton 0. The big bad wolf came to our building and tried to huff and puff and puff and huff and puff. But guess what? Our house ain't made of, of straws. Nor they're made out of papers or anything, you know. Or, or it's made out of bricks. And you couldn't huff and puff in this house because Manchester United have collected three points against big bad wolves. Two goals. Goal coming from Anthony Marshall. And a goal, a return, a return appearance from our star boy. Alejandro Ganacho with that second goal in the dying seconds of the second half and added time. Big up to the boys because the boys came and delivered three points after back to back defeats. They did us a bit proud. But to be fair, the performance wasn't all that, to be honest with you, because Manchester United could have been a bit more clinical. I know we had 25 shots, but sometimes I was wondering, where did that come from? You know, we didn't really test the goalkeeper, but then again, and he had opportunities as well. The goalkeeper, the the Wolves goalkeeper, Bentley, was man of the match in my opinion. He was the outstanding player for, for the, entire, the whole entire game if it's not for a Manchester United player. He could have scored a bit more goals. Yeah, that is true. But the goalkeeper was great. Anthony with opportunities as well, guys. But today, it was just about getting the three points. And we had our guy, ex-manager, Oli Gunnar Social looking hella stressed. Looking like those millions are just going down because he, he has some stubborn beard. He's like, I'm there thinking, bro, bro, what's going on, man? You're not looking good. Is everything okay, bro? But because in high school, you used to be the man, but Oli looks stressed, though, guys. But let's forget about it because I thought when I saw Oli understand, yeah, he's bad old man. He's juju, which just make us lose the game because, of course, the last time he was here, we bloody lost. We lost. We got our ass whooped. But nope, that wasn't the case. But I'm just happy. Manchester United collecting three points, guys. It is what it is. In that first half as well, Manchester United, oh, it was all right in the first half, to be fair. We wasn't that commanding enough, you know, throughout the whole 45 minutes. Creating slight small chances as well. Anthony had a couple of chances. Marshall, for the first 20, 30 minutes, was, was seeing himself getting picked up from the floor all the time. Probably going on, what's, what's going on, bro? At least time I touch the ball, I wake up and I'm on the ground. And I bring, and I'm like, what's going on? Yes, Marshall was poor throughout the whole game. Despite getting that first goal, and that first goal coming from Bruno Fernandes, finding Anthony, Anthony, they're, they're just cutting down. And then cutting the ball back to see his guy, Anthony Square, you get me, I see you. Making it 2-0, Marshall with a wonderful finish as well. You know what, Marshall needs to thank Anthony because Marshall hasn't really been scoring. He should be, be looking at him saying, you, you, thank you, bro, I love you. Because Anthony hugged him so tight and said, yo, yo, I know the fans are hating you and everyone is all against you, but you know, Anthony needs us, Anthony needs to stick together, I love you. That's what happened right there. That's what happened at right then. It was half time, 1 0. We're thinking we need to get that second goal because we, in the second half, we capitulate. And you've seen it in the recent games. But in that second half, oh my God, Manchester United was coasting. I was like, bro, we need a second goal. Wake up. Wake up. Ten Hag making some changes. Nacho coming on. Star Boy. And of course, Manchester United again in another break. Bruno Fernandes with that assist. Lovely through ball pass. And Gnacho all three up after beating my man and beating the offline trap as well. One on one with the goalkeeper. Finishing it well. And Gnacho, Star Boy. Viva Gnacho, my guys. Viva Gnacho because that was. A mini cameo performance from him, but it's a goal and it causes us as well. It made sure that we win the game 2 0 to 2 0. And that was full time, guys. And of course, three points in the bag. We've got Bournemouth next, but it is what it is, man. You know what? Today, I have to say, I'm so glad to see Rafael Varan back because he was all right in there as well. Marshall, as I said before, wasn't the best today. You know, he's quite poor. He's, he still is not match fit. Sancho. I think he coasted throughout the whole entire game. But Bruno as well, Bruno had his moments, but he when it came to it, he was key to two goals. Therefore, my man of the match today has to go to Bruno Fernandez, guys. Bruno was good today with the assist and the assist the assist for the first goal. You know, the hats up to him as well. Still doing what he does best. The GAs, but in a 90 minutes performance, yo, yo, shit! But it is what it is, guys. You know, you know, he gets away with it. But again, he had a good game, man of the match performance, you know. 
But it is what it is, guys. This has been your match reaction. You let me know what your thoughts on today's game. You let me know who your man of the match was as well. You also let me know who your donkey of the match is. Because I don't have one today, apart from Maguire coming on. And Oli's turning up at Old Trafford. Again. And as well, guys, remember to subscribe. Smash that like button. Share across all all social media platform guys and press that notification bell so you can be the first one to watch and follow Ivor Inspires and Reggie Night TV across all social media platforms and as always we are back again live on Monday at 8 p.m. for UK time for that catch up your podcast and live on Thursday for your Manchester United news as well at 5 30 p.m. as well UK time as always guys remember to keep it united and remember to keep it ready night your boy is out peace